You are now watching Super Bob. Hello and welcome back to Super Bob Plays. This is episode five of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough slash Let's Play. Um, last episode, I got through the forest, caught a Caterpie. We've got our team going, and I know last time I promised to evolve Butterfree, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And of course, a lot of you may have noticed that now I have video. Oh, it finally happened, people. All right. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and. One hour later. All right. <laughs> One more hit left. We can do this, Puff Daddy. Come on, Puff Daddy. Get that tackle in. All right. Can you level up? Yes. Through to level ten. Yes. What? Puff Daddy's evolving. What? what? Come on, you can do it. Merge from that cocoon. Oh gosh. Black and white slash blue sprite. Puff Daddy learned confusion. Very important for when we take on Brock because it is a special attack and it is pretty important against uh, his defense barriers, pretty much. All right. So we've leveled up. I'm um, sorry, since we've evolved Butterfree. Let's go ahead and check out his stats. Ooh. And also, something's not right. Um, bam. We've updated it. <laughs> Alright. Now, since our last episode, I've also gone ahead and done some leveling up of my own with all the other Pokemon. Um, every th everybody is level 11. Man, Bear, Pig, Pidge, Puka, and Nidoran. Again, if you have an idea for, or as far as nickname-wise, when it comes to Nidoran, please comment below and let me know what you think his nickname should be. Um, like I said, we still got a few episodes until we get to where we can actually get to the name Raider, but we should be able to get there in no time. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and heal and uh, take on Brock real quick. That's mainly going to be the main point of this episode. After we heal. <laughs> Hurry up, Norse Joy! <laughs> Why does she always have to bow? I never... I never understood that she always bows or does a little curtsy or something. She's just like, thank you. Here you go. I mean, you would think that she'd be putting them on the counter, but who still does that? Just, here you go. <laughs> like, I'm just supposed to, oh, thank you. Thank you. Arigato. I mean, I understand if my char character bowed back, it's only polite, but nope. No bowing. Ugh. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take on Brock. That is today's goal. Alright, there we go. We are in the gym. Let's see. Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Leader Brock. Winning trainer Stan. How did Stan get here before us? He was way back there before Viridian's Forest. Ugh. Who are you? Hiya. I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. If he's not a trainer, then why doesn't he just do it himself? Let me take you to the top. Um... No. It's a free service. Let's get happening. I said no. <sighs> First Pokemon out in a match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, matches could be made easier. What do you think, Pikachu? Shall we trust him? Yeah, we're going to do that anyway. But still. <sighs> He's gonna, I can see this guy, he's just gonna be like, oh, well, you know that future champ, you know, the Pokemon champion? Yeah, well, I helped him get to the top. Yeah! <sighs> Some people's kids. Alright. We're gonna start out with, you know, um, I'll go, go back to our Pokemon list. We're gonna start out with Man Bear Pig, uh, the Mankey. Um, but like I said, I've, we've got other options. We can have our Nidoran with Double Kick. We can have Man... Uh, I'm mainly going to go with Man Bear Pig for this with a low kick. But then we've also got Buff Puff Daddy uh, with his Confusion to also help out. I know he's level 10 right now, but it should be good enough to get through. 
And of course, all these guys are at level 11, because once you get past level 12, your Pokemon will start disobeying you, sadly. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll hope not that we won't make them disobey us. So, here we go. First trainer, I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. <laughs> Stop right there, you're still light years from facing Brock. But it's not a measure of distance. Come on, brah. <sighs> junior trainer wants to fight. Why is he a junior trainer? Send out Diglett, okay. Well, I'm sending out Man Bear Pig. Bam! Alright, uh, go with the low kick. Ooh, he's faster than me, even at level 9. Critical hit. I'm using low kick. Yes. One hit, knockout. Loving it. Enemy Diglett fainted. Man Bear Pig gained... Blah, blah, blah. Man Bear Pig gained 156 experience points. He's about to use Sand Shrew. Ooh, this should be fun. Will Bob change Pokemon? No. Fight. Low kick. Bam! In your face. Ooh. Not a one-hit KO this time. I guess that one hit was just a one hit wonder. Alright. Little kick in the face. Ah, he's gonna scratch me in my face. Alright, come on. Little kick. Bam! Remember Piggy used 178. Bam. Alright. Darn. Light years is in time, it measures distance. Didn't I just say that? Ah. Bob got 180 for winning. What else has he got to say? You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. Why is he... <sighs> I get that a lot of the trainers in here are always pretty idyllic. You know, they idolize the main gym trainer. Or the gym leader, should I say. They idolize the main gym leader. But... Really, bro? You are like... Ugh. Stop with the bromance. Stop with the bromance, please. Alright. Um, we're gonna go ahead and change out Man Bear Pig now for Nidoran. Um, I love to heal. I probably will be doing that with future gyms. However, with this go, I'm gonna go without healing. I may regret it. Let's see. I'm Brock, Pewter Gym's leader. I'm also obsessed with every Nurse Joy slash Officer Jenny that you will ever see in future. Ooh. Ha! I believe in rock hard defense and termination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Well, I'm still standing here. Fine then, show me your best. He didn't even give me a chance to back out if I wanted to. Ah, huh. just says you still want to challenge me? No? Okay. Ugh, Brock wants to fight. Brock sent out Geodude. We got this. Come on, Nidoran. Ugh. Alright, uh, let's stick with... Oh, I did not learn double attack. Or double... Double kick. Crap. Ah, uh, I thought that I had... Let's go with Horn Attack. No. Oh, man. <laughs> I could have sworn. I think I learned it at level 12, actually. Oh, crap. Alright, um... Let's get our Nidoran out of there. Let's throw in Puff Daddy. Hopefully it won't take too much damage. He's a bug. And luckily, Geodude just knows Tackle. Alright, so we're gonna go with... Confusion. There we go. Critical hit. See, that's why I love giving myself options. There we go. Enemy Geodude fainted. Nidoran gained 91 experience points. Grew to level 12. Nidoran learned double kick. Now he's got double kick. Ugh. If Brock is about to use Onyx, will Bob change Pokemon? Yes. Only because I would like to test out this theory that I read online that you can't level them past level 12, otherwise they'll stop listening. So alright, Onyx is level 12, I'm level 12, I don't have a gym badge. So let's try it. Enemy Onyx use Bide. Double kick. Please be super effective. No. We got one more kick, I forgot about that. Super effective. Hit two times. Ah. We use Leer. Because that Bide, it's... It's a really weak move, in my opinion, but, again, at the lower levels, it's gonna own your face if you let it, if you don't pay attention to it. See? At the first gen, it's three moves. Later, later, I know in the later ones, it's like, 
twice. Still. Alright, so we used our leer. Let's try double kicking him in the face. He's screeching the heck out of us, though. Alright. You are in. Use double kick. There we go. One more go. Yes! Super effective. Enemy Onyx fainted. Nidoran again, 277 experience points. Nidoran again to level 13. Bob defeated Brock. Give me that badge! Shama! I took you for granted. You dang right. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Bob received the boulder badge. Cool. That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bearers, Pokemon, become more powerful. The technique flash can now be used anytime. Bob got... 1,188 for winning. Cool. Wait, take this with you. Bob received TM34. Which one is that? TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. TM is good only once, so when you use one... Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm just sitting here all scratch my back, all like, oh. But yeah. Uh, I swear, we're making these videos is going to be the death of me. <laughs> Uh, so when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. See, that's what I mentioned earlier. You don't want to be careful with Bide. Right. Anything else to say, Brock? There are all kinds of trainers in the world. I really have to catch myself for that. Okay. I'm sitting here. I'm digging in my eyes. I'm all like... I gotta be self-conscious of that camera. That's... <laughs> <laughs> it's something to get used to. Bear with me. Alright, all kinds of trainers in the world. Some raise Pokemon for fights. Some see them as pets. I've been training to become a Pokemon breeder. Okay. If you take your Pokemon training seriously, go visit the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Ooh, what do you think, Pikachu? Pikachu agrees. Cool. Alright. Anything else from you? Just as I thought, your Pokemon champ material. See? He's gonna be like Bogart in all the success. success. That's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, again, if you like what you're seeing, please hit that like button on the video, and please subscribe if you have not already. Um, I do this not only because this is fun, but I also do this because I would like to spread the joy of this game to everybody. It's old school, but like I've mentioned before, they're going to be coming back with this, and hopefully, you know, like, you know, this little walkthrough will help some people out. Next episode, I'm going to explore through a um, town that we're in right now, just to go ahead and, you know, see if anyone can give us some free stuff, to check out the museum, um, and just see what's going on, you know. Um, because, again, with this game, you want to check each and every corner, talk to every person, because you may be able to find some pretty neat stuff. You know, you'll get a free Pokeball here and there, free uh, Paralyzed Heal. You never know. You can get a free TM. I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a good one.